tis the season, so that means we play as the most wintry characters of them all. Ice Climbers! <laughs> Salutations everybody, welcome to you and welcome back to another episode of Smash Ultimate. So I have no idea what the skin is, so I guess I'll figure that out. Ooh, that's a cute skin. And we are also playing as Popo. So there we go. Well, technically both, because would you guys consider, you know, characters like Pyra and Mirthra and Ice Climbers to be one single character, or would you consider them to be two separate characters? Especially considering, aside from Ice Climbers, because you can't actually choose which one is which, aside from skin, they don't actually say, like, you know, Nana and Popo. They just say Ice Climbers. But with Mithra and Pyra, they actually say, like, Mithra or Pyra. So there's a question for the day for you guys. <laughs> and also another thing, which of course would it be considered to be in this game, would you consider Sheik and Zelda to be a separate character in all the previous games? Because, well, it really just depends on the down, down B and stuff like that. So, there's food for thought. And now, since we're playing as Ice Climbers, of course, I would just like to say two things that I actually find rather cute about them. First of all would be what's actually in this game would be their path or their route, I think is what it's actually called. The fact that it's literally just called Duel for Days. It's like, it makes sense because, well, you're playing as a duel, but also I'm pretty sure every character that you fight against is actually like two people. I really like that. And now it just blew myself up, but do it. That's okay, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go with it. And we'll also try to KO Ken as we get ourselves some bees going after us. <laughs> oh no, now we're just getting punched, but that's okay. Maybe this will KO him. It didn't. And we just missed him because he was just up there. <laughs> it's like, oof. That's the one thing that's awkward about him being out of the edge is that you can't necessarily see where the characters are. You just know they're off the edge somewhere. And. Uh, hopefully he doesn't actually try to hit that thing, but no, we good. We survived. <laughs> but now to the other thing which I find cute about Ice Climbers is that it's actually part of their story. The fact that they're literally just going out on an adventure to get their stolen vegetables back. But that's not so much adorable, that's just kind of sad. But more so that they're actually children. I didn't actually know they were children, I thought they were adults. But you know what, it's fine. Oh, Isabel just about got shot completely off. And of course, Villager was saved by his gyroid. And I'll also love how in this game you can actually move with that gun instead of just having to stay idolized and get yourself easily be able to get KO'd. But now I don't know which one we want to deal with first. Apparently we're just gonna get a Villager out there. That works perfectly for us. And oh, <laughs> Nana has a gun. I love it. And we'll also grab this chicken or we won't grab the chicken. Come here, Isabel. Oh, you ruined this. You ruined the spikes. But that's okay. I got a gun here. We're not afraid to use it. In fact, it's a laser gun. And good job, Nana. I think you just about just about killed her. Come over here, Izzy. You know we want to get killed by us. I was wondering if she also had a gyro attack or not. And a uh, good old down A to uh, actually defeat her. Also, one thing I do like about this game as well. I actually just like this game in general, but one thing I like about it is that if you pause it, at least on this menu, I don't think it would be in a multiplayer you know, portion of it. You can actually see the movesets of the characters. So it's like, yeah, definitely helpful for me, because I don't really know how to play Ice Climbers that much, or at least I didn't really know how to play them. This is a great way of actually learning their movesets. I'm just kind of spamming because I can. But it's helpful for those who don't know how to play a certain character. It's like, say I didn't know how to use slang, it's like, okay, please help me. <laughs> also, it's really funny how Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are actually here. The reason why is because, well, the next character we're going to be playing as is going to be one of those. So I don't know exactly where Nana was trying to go, but it is fine. We will go with it and hope that we don't just get tailed off here. You stay away from my my girlfriend, my wife. I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Now, no, where, where, why are you like standing way over there? Why are you not trying to come towards us? It's actually kind of terrifying, but it's fine. Oh, okay. Whew. Diddy Kong just hailed both of them. I was worried it was going to hail us, uh, us first, but it didn't. I could as well take it. <laughs> I get this. But also, here's a question for you guys. Ready? For the characters that are duos, because I have asked what your favorite characters are to play, because I've asked that I think a few times now. But 
what's your favorite dual character to play as? I would say for me it's probably Ice Climbers just because I'm more familiar with them than say, like Power and Meta or Sheik and Zelda if you consider them to be a dual character as well and before they got split. But yeah. I also love how Popo was green. It's like just the color. No, Nana! Sorry, you almost got like knocked off there. Thankfully, you did not. You saved it. But just barely. Now, Palatina, can you please get out of here? Because I don't want to be spiked. I want to spike you, but I don't want to be spiked by you, though. <laughs> just like that. That was so satisfying to do. Now, just making sure that Pit doesn't KO us as we KO him. That was so satisfying, but it was also absolutely terrifying. Also, wonder how high we're going to be able to get, because I did play as Ice Carapace before on my own time, and ooh, I love the music here. I don't know what this actual music is, but I absolutely love this. <laughs> just those videos of Koopa Troopas just stopping them up in the middle of whatever they're doing. And it's just like that one video, I don't remember when I actually watched it, but I watched it not too long ago, and it was really just trying to, to Koopa Troopa trying to save another one, and ended up letting go of it because they both just had to do that bung movement. <laughs> like that really made any sense, I hope it makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing here as well as trying to commentate, which usually is okay, but sometimes it's just really awkward. It will take you and I don't know if that actually hits us, and I think it does a little bit, but it works because their radius just got both of them. Like, absolutely chef's kiss. And now, it's this bonus game which I'm just going to speed through because we see it all the time. And surprise, surprise, another magic hand and crazy hand. Once again, it's such a shame. But also, that was a little bit terrifying because, well, we always got sucked up by the vortex, which thankfully, we did not. And now let's just try to focus on getting one of them. I don't know which ones we're going to focus on, but that was a big alley right there. Wonder if we could get both of them down at once. Probably won't actually happen, but who knows. Now it's time for their CPR, or I guess it's not time for their CPR, actually it's time for them to both be down. But also, here's another question for you guys, because it seems that they got awfully hurt there an awful amount of time, and other characters that we've also gotten hit that amount of times and have not gotten killed like that, but it seems that they have less health than the other characters. I could be wrong, it could just be because well, we're up on level 7 now, or so level 8, somewhere around there. I had no idea where we were, but I'm glad that we didn't get killed there. That would have been sad. We probably will here, but that's okay, because we're not trying to go for perfect. We're trying to get it down, of course, as close to perfect as possible. Which, okay. With all they're going down, it's probably where we're going to go down, unfortunately. And we didn't. We somehow survived. We will apparently survive, and let's see here, can we actually get it down? And we got perfect! Well, this is actually the first character. I would say there'd be Young Link as well, but I'm pretty sure for him, I actually had to use tickets when I did his route. But, hey, we take it to the season, I suppose. But also, here's a hydration check as we go on to our next character. <laughs> That's right, we got ourselves Dream Donkey Kong, because, you know what, why not? <laughs> I think it'll be a, a fun one to do, and plus, I don't think I've actually played Donkey Kong in this game before. If not, probably once, once I actually got this game. But, let's see how this goes, though. I'm pretty sure with Donkey Kong, you can actually pick people up and move them around. Now, pick up your get clap, son. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry, but, like, that was so satisfying to do, the fact that he literally walked into it, quote-unquote, because he can't actually see the webcam. <laughs> and ooh, King K. Drool. I don't know why I said Drool instead of Rule, and I wonder if Dr. Diddy Kong's going to be staying with us or not. We're gonna get our punch ready over here so we can hit him like that. And let's see if we can smash him again. And smack! That's what you get for going towards D Diddy Kong and I. 
I also really love how in this game, when Donkey Kong does his punching, he actually looks really mad. Like in the other games, you don't really see that. But also, are we gigantic? Now come over here, King K. I want you to get yeeted by this Abomaso. No, Abomaso! And that was the most anticlimactic way of actually getting away your character. But you know what? it's okay. Also, I like how Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are both just looking at that freaking little nuclear bomb walking dude. And okay, it looks like Diddy Kong will stay with Donkey Kong. Probably at least until they get killed. So I like that. It doesn't just start off with them. You just need to actually like, get him. I guess that would be just similar to the uh, Toon Links. I almost said Young Links. Which, I mean, technically it would be Young Link. Because he's a, a child. But wrong character though. But the same thing, because I'm pretty sure you don't start off with other Toon Links. You kind of just need to have them. Also, my goodness, I know that Donkey Kong... The, the bunny hood obviously makes... <laughs> Sorry, it's just Donkey Kong. It's like... Let that go, son. Let that go. But I know that he runs fast to begin with, but I didn't realize how fast he actually ran. He really is a banana out of gun. I love how that's just how that Falcon gets killed. <laughs> Ooh. And that was another combination of like both Ness and Lucas over here. Which I know that somebody out there likes it. That's right. That's you, Link Gaming. <laughs> Love you, dude. Hope you're doing well, sir. <laughs> You should go check him out, actually. Same with Legend, you should go check out his channel as well as a few other people's. Like, they're all good people, and Zero Pelic, I believe that's how you say your name. Apologies if not, because I'm really bad at actually knowing how to pronounce people's names. Also, thank goodness Diddy Kong, or at all, I picked that up. I picked up Shovel Knight. <laughs> and Lucas had a gun, and oh, I have the gun now. <laughs> Once again, I love how you can actually move around with this. It makes it so much easier. But if this tried to get uh, Seth Lucas, we already have him off. If we already have like, Ness off, he's, he is going to be causing us some issues. Just like right there, that car actually freaking made me jump a little bit. Not necessarily jump, but it worried me. And how did you survive that? Get out of here, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you for your help, Diddy Kong. I actually had no idea what was going on in that map <laughs> at all. Now I think it's a bonus now? Nope. We got some inklings. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, there's one more and then it's after that. So let's see how we do in the inklings, because last time we fought against the inklings, which was with the Toon Link, we ended up actually losing it quite a bit. But it's probably going to be a bit better considering we don't have to fight against like three or four of them now. Because it was three versus three or so. You stop slapping my boy. You stop slapping him. Thank you. We'll take the shield now. And we'll try to get that inkling which easy peasy and let me squeezy we did. I love how Diddy Kong was just behind the shield there. <laughs> but also I meant to press, press the screenshot button and accidentally press the home button. I'm sure other people have done that too. Because usually I'm good at not hitting that, but every once in a while when I really need to think about multiple things like this, and commentating and try to play a game and try to survive, stuff like that, it's gonna be hard sometimes. Not so much for Zelda games, just because I'm so used to that, but when it comes to like Smash Bros. games, then I kind of had to pay attention a little bit more. Thank you, Banana Peel. You stayed weak. And nice, New Donk City. Odyssey. That's another game that at some point I'm probably going to be playing as. Okay, hopefully we don't get killed here. Ooh, no, no, he did, sadly. And there we go. Like, thankfully we had the blue shell, but also that was the first part to actually get killed by, as you couldn't tell from me getting squished down there. <laughs> and that was just my own fault though. And that one was much better. <laughs> I didn't almost get absorbed into the void. But mind you, Donkey Kong seems a lot faster in this game. And okay, this is actually a little bit different. Aside from obviously having Diddy Kong with us, we are actually on a Mario stage and not in the Final Destination. That's a really nice change. And a hey, good job, my boy Diddy Kong. Literally knocking Master Cannon to the ground like that. 
He's just doing the work for me, and I really appreciate that. <laughs> and now we got Crazy Hand down. You look very confused there, Diddy Kong. You keep doing that so we can punch ya. We can punch you. I love how Diddy Kong just slowly just punches. It's one of those things where like I know that his move sets don't have any, like weapons or guns and stuff like that. But it's one of those things where I never really paid attention to the fact that he just throws hands. I don't know Diddy Kong. I hope he's still with us when we get back. Okay, good. I like that actually. It's, it's actually it's duo for days as well. I never actually got to see, see what their pathing is or what their route name is actually. So I'll check that out after. And obviously not when we do our credits, our credits, our and stuff. Let go of my board over here. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Diddy Kong, that that just happened. <laughs> like that. I like how Diddy caught the strike and scratch there. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, with that, we shall leave it here. That was really quick, despite getting KO'd. That was better than I expected it was going to be for Donkey Kong, considering this is actually the first time I actually played him in this game. It didn't change much, mind you, but yeah. Anyways, as a credits roll, we shall leave it here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Snatch that subscribe button, say something down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I will see you in the next video. And once again, happy holidays everybody. Peace.